Hello there folks and welcome back to the Scott Reed Project and today we are going to do something really special it's so simple but when you put it on a plate your friends will think a chef had done it and we are going to be cooking a fantastic scallop dish scallop scallop you say tomato I say tomato let's call the whole thing off but not until we've done this dish and what we're going to be doing then is we're going to serve scallops on this fantastic black pudding I've got to stop myself eating that and then serve that on a pea puree and then some lovely crispy pancetta on top so what I'm going to do then first thing I'll do is get my peas on and get my bacon browning off and then we'll start making that dish so this is one of those dishes that's going to come together really really quickly so what I'm going to do I'm going to use some clarified butter you can use vegetable oil olive oil, butter, whatever you fancy, into my pan, let that melt a bit, and into this pot I'm going to add 200 grams of frozen peas, I'm doing enough to serve two people here, so there's 200 grams of frozen peas and 150 mils of chicken stock, so we just let those come up the boil, to the boil and cook for three or four minutes, in the meantime so my pack of pancetta and I want to get these really nice and crispy so let's get them in the pan sprinkled on top it's lovely and this comes together real quick the only real cooking time waiting is just for these to crisp up but they're not going to take very long at all Put a few more in because we can so while we're taking on our pancetta, my scallops, I'm just going to go in half, they'll cook it better, quicker, because this dish, once that bacon and that puree is done, takes minutes, and you wait until you see the finished result. Also looks more on the plate. And I did a scallop dish uh, a year and a half ago. And I served it on black pudding, but I did a poached, little poached egg yolk on top. But I thought, you know what, I'll do another one. See if we can make it better than that last one. So my lovely pancetta, nice and crispy. I'm just going to take it out of that butter and drain it and keep them warm. Get them on there. I've just put my peas on the back to hurry them along a bit. Next. That back on the heat take a little bit of the heat out and that fantastic black pudding just have a look at that it's just amazing stuff so nice and gentle put them off about a minute minute and a half aside so my peas are cooked I should just strain them because I want to retain some of that liquor for when we puree them get that in there if I can they're going to go straight back into that pan. Check my black pudding. Oh yeah. What I'm going to do then is get the hand blender and just blend those peas through. So I've just given those a little blend and all I'm going to do, because I want this to be quite thickish to hold So just judge it by eye, put a bit more in. And you'll notice I'm not adding no cream, no nothing. I just want the pure taste of the pea. That looks perfect. Just gonna give that a quick taste. Mm. Season that up. So just crank some pepper in. And a bit of salt. nice lovely green colour, nice and fresh, pure pea. Mmm, mmm. So I'm just going to keep that warm. Now my black pudding is cooked. So I shall put that with my pancetta 
in the oven to keep warm as well and we'll get on and cook the main star of the dish now what I've done is I've transferred my cooking fat into that frying pan so you can see what we're going to be doing what I'm going to do is season my scallops plenty of pepper and the trick with cooking these is you need that pan red hot and you really really do you do not want these start to stew like I've talked about this before when we've been cooking stews if it's too cold and you put your scallops or any meat into that pan it immediately lowers the heat and you start boiling it that's how you get that gray stodgy looking meat instead of that lovely caramelization and these are only going to take a minute to a minute and a half so you really need that intense heat to it them um, face on my pan is just starting to smoke so gently we'll put our scallops in and obviously do it as you would a clock face 12 round to 12 and then you'll know which one you put in first and you can turn it accordingly like I said these are going to take minutes so just keep an eye on them but that's what you want that sizzle and you can tell they're actually cooking what a pretty picture that is like I said that was the first one to go in so we turn it nicely cooked nice colour we should work our way round and they should all be in the same state of cooking there's always one get here beautiful beautiful right turn those scallops off just show you them don't they look lovely time to build the dish now this has been pretty much cooked in real time it took minutes so into the middle of my plate nice dollop of pea puree then one piece of that black pudding next we'll put our scallops I think we'll put one there like that gently get these out I'll just put one on there like that see if we can get one to stand up like that and then just some of our crispy pancetta round the edge and I'm just gonna as a natural sauce a bit of that butter we cooked everything in get that on and there you have my pan fried scallops black pudding and pea puree well not a bad looking dish for 10 minutes work let's get into it a bit of scallop a bit of black pudding a bit of pea a bit of that pancetta oh. it is such a great combination it shouldn't work I know black pudding fish and the pea but I'll tell you what just look at that for a fork full of food wow thanks again for joining me on the Scott Reed project and if you've liked what you've seen please subscribe to the channel I release a new video every week and you can follow me on Twitter at the Scott Reed project and I shall see you again next time unfortunately I've got to eat this it's a hard nut life See you again next time. Mmm.